on to our facts. And hopefully Deb M is now talking to me. All right, so make your way onto your back and we're going into the amended chin section of class, probably Pat's favorite part too. So using the mat being beneath you, press in your shoulders and then take your right ankle on top of your left knee. Good. And then maybe just press your right hand into your thigh, opening your hips there. Or pull your belly in and up, middle belly in and up, pressing your shoulder blades, grab your right foot, press that right knee away. So do as much as feels good to you. Roll your shoulder blades down your back. So this is for all my hikers, even Vicki, who's going to be watching this after. Nice. And then straighten your left heel, pointing your toes towards your face. Good. Pull your right leg into your, or your left leg into your right, your right leg into your left, and roll those shoulder blades down your back. So use the mat to help you. Nice. And then exhale, left foot down. Take your hands out to the side, pressing into your hands. Pull your low belly in, pull your middle belly in, lift your chest, and then twist over to the left. Try and get your right foot on the ground. Now, if your right foot can't touch the ground, you can put your right foot on a block and then take your left hand and press it into your right thigh. So just like we were doing, so opening the outer hip. So Marianne, take your right foot, the bottom of your right foot and press it into your floor. Yes. Good, feel that nice opening in the right side of your hip. Good. And then inhale, come back to center. Take that right leg out to the side and wide and do a happy baby pose. So you can have your legs straight or bent here, whatever feels good to you. Nice. And then exhale, come back to center. Breath into your feet, pull in your low belly, your middle belly, roll those shoulder blades onto the mat. Take your left ankle on top of your right knee. Good. Press your left hand into your left thigh. And then stay there if that's enough for you or pull in your low belly, middle belly, bring your right leg pressing it towards your chest. Press that left knee away, pull that left foot towards you, and then roll those shoulder blades onto the mat. Nice. And then straighten your right leg. Point your toes towards your face. Nice. So getting that right hamstring, that left hip. Nice. Bring your right foot to the mat. Take your hands out to the side, pulling your low belly, your middle belly, press in your shoulders. And then, Amanda, see if you can get that left foot into the mat. Just try that. So you're, yes. So get the, the bottom of your left foot, the whole bottom of your left foot into the mat. It's a really nice stretch in your outer left hip. And then if you want to make it, take it deeper, take your right hand into your left leg. Good. And then scan your whole body, pressing into your shoulders, pulling in your low belly, your middle belly. Nice. And exhale, come back to center. Take that left leg out to the side. So bent or straight, you can play around with it. You can do bent two straight, see what feels good for you. I'm doing bent two straight, I kind of like that. And then because I really like that, I'm gonna do a full happy baby. So I'm gonna do both of my legs bent and then kick them out to straight and then bent and then out to straight and then bent, nice. And then make your way on up. Good. And then come on to all fours. So pressing your hands into the floor, pull your low belly, your middle belly, and align your neck with your shoulders. So just doing this and being mindful of this in your daily practice is going to help you. And then let's just pull your shoulder blades back, drop your belly, lift your heart. And then press your hands into the mat. Top of your head goes towards the mat, pressing away. 
Good, and then pull your heart through, pull your shoulder blades together. And then press away, pull your shoulder blades apart, feel them get wide. Nice. And then step your right foot forward. Good. So first, press your feet into the mat. Engage that left glute. And then pull in your low belly, your middle belly. Roll those shoulders in, up, and back. Nice. And then take your arms behind you with your knuckles facing forward. Stay there or interlace your hands. And then press your hands together, pull your arms apart. And if you have a, a resistance band and you want to add that, use that or a, a strap. Nice. And then exhale, release. Head in line with your shoulders. Bring that right leg straight. And then bend. Nice, Kathy. Straight. I think all of August, I'm going to call you Sam. And then bend. Okay. And then bring your hands to the mat. Come on to all fours. I want you to press into the mat. I want you to press and make your shoulders broad. So feel them get broad. Heads in line with your shoulders. Nice, Marianne. And then pull your heart through. Pull your shoulder blades behind you. So just feel that little micro movement. Good. Press away. Pull your low belly in and up. Your upper belly in and up. Drop your head. Good. And then come to flat back. Bring your left foot forward. Nice. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab this strap. So if you have one, you can grab it. You don't have to use it. I know people don't like straps in here, but okay. And then press into your feet, right? So really engage that right glute. Press like you're stamping a spider that's gonna bite you. So really engage. Good. Then low belly, middle belly, lift your chest. Nice. And then with or without a strap, okay? With or without a strap. If you have a strap, knuckles are facing forward. Roll those shoulders in, back, and away. And then open. So that same feeling you get when you do cat, uh, cow pose. Nice. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your heart. Feel your shoulder blades going down and back. Beautiful, you guys. And then pull that left hip back. Pulling your low belly, middle belly, and then heads in line with your shoulders, and then stretch and straighten. You can have your fingertips on something, or you can use this as an opportunity to try and balance Amanda Chin. Amanda Chin. Nice. So I have my hands in prayer. Nice. And then come on to all fours. Press into the mat. Pull your low belly in, pull your upper belly in, head in line with your shoulders, come forward, and then all the way to the floor. Nice. And then we're going to do another shoulder opener. So I'm going to say, actually, we'll do it after. Okay, now take your right hand out to the side. I'm going to show you. So maybe take a look, see. Take your right arm out to the side. Take your left hand next to your chest. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, and then press into that left hand, open that right shoulder, and then pull that left shoulder back and down. So you're on the mat doing that. So lay on your belly, take your right arm out to the side, take your left hand next to your chest, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift, roll the shoulder blades down your back, and then twist, pressing in your left hand, Gripping with your right hand, you can have that left leg stacked on top of your right or add your hips. Take that left leg behind you. And then, yep, low belly, middle belly, lift your heart. Exhale, release. Nice. And then we'll do that on the other side. So take your left hand out to the side. Take your right hand next to your chest. Roll that right shoulder back and down. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Nice, and then right leg on top of left. So Debbie M is doing this standing. Good for you for just trying new things. So you can do that and get your shoulders mostly, or you can take that right leg behind you and add a little hip opening. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, pull that right shoulder back. Nice. 
And then exhale, come on back. Good job. And then let's lay on your belly, bring your hands in front of you. We're gonna do a little leg strengthening. Okay, so if you have low back issues, especially, keep your chin on the ground. If you don't, you can raise it a little bit, but right now I want you to pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, and then just lift that right leg a few inches up. So you're strengthening that right hamstring. So just a couple inches, that leg is straight. So you're lifting also that right leg a little bit more, Deb M, Deb M, Deb Rauscher, sorry. Right leg down, left leg up. So keeping it straight, feel that you're not using your spine. Nice. And then one more time, right leg up, just a couple inches. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your heart. Good. And then lift your left leg just a couple inches and it's straight. So your quads a little bit off the ground. Nice. Exhale, bend your knees, turn your head to the right, take your legs from side to side. Good job, you guys. Nice. And then slide your hands in next to your chest. Rip them up. Good job. Roll those shoulders in, back, and down so you feel your scapula comes together. Yes, Amanda. And then press away, pulling in your low belly, your middle belly. And then let's come to puppy pose. So bring your hands in front of you. Don't drop your head. Don't worry about your head yet. So your tush is up. I want you to press into your hands. Good. And then from there, pull your chest towards the mat, not your head. Nice, feel that opening. Now your ears can be on either side of your arms. Nice. And then inhale, come on up. Bring your knees a little bit forward, press into the mat. And then downward facing dog or back to puppy pose. I want your knees bent, I want you to focus on your shoulders. So gripping your mat with your hands. Good, lengthening your spine, so shoulders and spine. Then pull in that low belly, pull in your middle belly. Feel that lengthening. Nice, you guys. Good job. And then inhale, step your feet forward. Come to flat back. Roll the shoulders in, back, and down. See how that feels. And then exhale, fold top of your head towards the mat. Good, inhale, sweep your arms up, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your heart. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good, we're gonna start with lunges. So press in your feet, low belly, middle belly, lift your arms up, lift your heart. Good, exhale, come to flat back or fold. Nice, inhale, lift, roll those shoulders in, back and down. Good, exhale, fingers to the ground, step your right leg back, drop your knee. So low lunge, squeeze your legs, pull in your low belly, middle belly, nice. And then take your elbows out to the side, opening your heart. Good, and then elbows in, and then open, and then in, and then open. And then in, keep those elbows high. Open your hands like you're playing peekaboo facing you. So elbows together, Kathy. And then pull your fingers apart, feel that shoulder strengthening. Pull your low belly in, protect your back. Nice. Exhale, hands to the mat. Make your way onto your belly. So I'm on all fours, pressing away, pulling in your low belly all the way to the ground. And then we're gonna do uh, arms in front of you again. This time, kick your feet together. So low back people, keep your chin down. If you don't have low back issues, you can go a little higher. So hands are in front of you, feet together, lift your legs. So booty strengthener. Good. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Nice. Exhale, release. Slide your hands back to your fingertips or at your chest. So Amanda, try bringing your hands back a little bit farther, a little tiny bit farther. Yes, just see how that is. Roll your shoulders in, back, and down. Grip the mat, hug the elbows in, and then press on up. Nice. 
and then puppy pose. So bring your hands forward, press in your hands. All right, we're going to try a new one, and I can't get my head through my arms, but we'll just try this. So bring your left hand to the center. Bring your right hand on top of it. So you're trying to close your suitcase. That's the feeling. You're on a trip. You're overpacked, trying to get that last sweatshirt in. So you're pressing, pull your belly in and up, and then bring your head between your arms. And then bring your, now my head doesn't really fit, so you can use your arms, I decided, as a rest. Nice. And then exhale, come on back. Walk your knees back, pressing your hands and either do puppy pose again or downward facing dog. Nice, bend your knees, come part way to plank and then press them out of way. Good, and then pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Your arms are on either side of your ears. Nice, you guys, good job. And then, from here, come on to all fours. Step your right foot forward. Nice. And then let's do a nice twist here. So press in your feet, low belly, middle belly. Let's take your right hand, hook it into your hip. So pull that hip back. Go a little wider, Devon, with your front foot. Yep. And then left fingertips down. Roll that right shoulder back. Nice, Pat. And then see if you can roll that right shoulder back, maybe bring your hand on your hip or bring your hand up. Nice. And then fingertips down, lift your back leg, step your left foot to your right, come to flat back, pulling your low belly, middle belly, and roll those shoulders in, back and down. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up, pull in your low belly, middle belly, lift your heart. Exhale, hand to your heart. Good, left side. Inhale, low belly, middle belly, lift your heart. Good. Exhale, flat back or fold. Use your breath. Inhale, flat back, roll those shoulders in, back and down. Exhale, fingertips to the mat. Step your left foot back, drop your knee. Good, press in your feet, really engage your feet. And then engage that left, or that right glute, pull in your low belly, your middle belly. Nice, roll those shoulders in, back and down, and then take your elbows out. Make sure to dab them, and then bring them together, and then apart. And then together, and then apart. And then just like last time, bring your elbows together, open your hands like you're playing peekaboo with a little kid. So spread them, so elbows are together, Kathy, yes. So bring your arms a little lower if you have to. Nice, and then pull your hands apart. And then pull in your low belly. So you can lift your chest a little more, man. Up on your low belly, yes. Good, exhale, release, nice. Make your way onto all fours. Press the floor away. Plank or plank on your knees. Come all the way down. Nice. And then this time we're gonna do locust pose. So roll those shoulders in, back, and down. And then lift. Oh, pull into your low belly, middle belly, lift your chest. And then bring your arms up. And if you can, interlace them. If you want, you can grab your strap. So put your hands towards each other, but pull your arms away from each other. Nice, Allison, good idea. And then exhale, right arm on top of left, bend your knees, go from side to side. So just like in these other poses, if your low back is wonky, keep your face on the mat, it should protect your low back. All right, so let's do that one more time and grab the strap, because I think that's a good idea. So if you're grabbing the strap, your knuckles are going to face the mat. So your knuckles are going to face the mat. So lay down. And then grab the strap. And it'll just get your shoulders slightly differently. So roll your shoulders in, back, and down. Knuckles towards the ground. Good. And then either keeping your chin on the ground 
or lifting it slightly, pull in your low belly, your middle belly, lift your chest, lift your arms, keep your legs down. Five, pull those arms away from each other. One, good job, you guys. And then exhale, put your strap aside, right arm on top of left, turn your head to the left, take your legs from side to side. Nice. And then slide your fingers in so your fingertips are in line with your chest. Roll those shoulders in, back and down. Nice. And then grab the mat, like grip the mat. So you use that pull in your low belly, your middle belly, and then press. So you're inviting other people to the party. You're not just using your chest muscles. You're not just using your front shoulder muscles. You're adding your core, you're adding your back of your shoulder muscles. Nice. So press in your feet and we're gonna do that twist on the side. So make sure you have a nice wide stance. Good, squeeze that left glute. And when I do that, my, my spine lengthens. And pull in your low belly, your middle belly. Nice. And then take your left hand, pull that hip back. Good. Right hand can go on a block or onto the mat. And then roll that left shoulder in, back, and down. And then stay there or open up that left hand like a book. Yes. Good job, you guys. Nice. And then exhale, bring that left hand down. Lift your back leg, pull in your low belly, middle belly. Good. Right leg to left, come to flat back. Good. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Okay, we're gonna do standing lunges. Pull in your low belly, middle belly, lift your chest, inhale. Good, exhale, flat back or fold. Focus on your breath. Inhale, flat back, shoulders back and down. Exhale, hands to prayer. We're gonna step our right foot back. So pull in your low belly, your middle belly, lift your heart, weight on your left foot. Right foot back, crescent lunge or warrior one. Good. Inhale, arms up. Good. Exhale, hands to the mat, downward facing dog. Rip the mat, come part way to plank. Back to down dog. And then part way to plank, back to down dog, or make your way onto the floor. Roll your shoulders in, up, and back. Pull in your low belly, middle belly, low cobra. Pulling those shoulder blades back and down. And then exhale, downward facing dog. It's yogi's choice, so you don't have to do it. You can skip it. You can skip it. So this is where you have to like check your ego and be like, what do I need? Good. And then from here, come part way to plank. Press the floor away. Pulling your low belly, your middle belly. Back to down dog, and then right leg up behind you. Bend your knee, open your hip, and then take some hip circles. Nice. And then step your right foot forward. Come into crescent lunge. Or warrior one, doesn't matter. Good. Pulling your low belly, your middle belly, roll the shoulders in, back, and down. Nice. And then shorten your stance, bring your hands to prayer, weight in that right foot, step your left foot to your right. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good, other side, press into your feet. Low belly, middle belly, arms up. Lift your heart. Exhale, flat back or fold. Inhale, flat back, hands in prayer, shoulder blades down your back. Put the weight into that right foot. Knees are bent. Yep. Be able to lift that left leg up and then step back to warrior one or crescent lunge. Whatever feels good in your body. Good, Allison, take your back foot more towards the dresser. Take a wider stance. Yes. Good, everyone straighten their front legs. Pull that right hip back. Left hip forward and then bend your front knee. Good. 
And then Deb, I take a wider stance too. So low belly to middle belly, roll those shoulders in and back. Nice. And then bring your hands to prayer. Shift your weight. Bring your left foot to your right. Come to flat back. Exhale, hold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, adding on. Inhale, arms up, look up. Pull in your low belly, middle belly, lift your heart. Good. Exhale, flat back or fold. Good. Inhale, hands to prayer. Pull your shoulders in, back and down. Pull your belly in and up, lift your chest. Weight on the left leg. Lift that right leg, step it back to warrior one. So wide, I want you to go really wide. I want you to make space for your low back. Nice, good. Then pull in your low belly, middle belly, roll those shoulders in, back and down. And then take your elbows like you're, like you're flying a plane or you're gonna rowing a boat and then bring your arms back. Keep them here or interlace them, pulling your hands together, but your arms apart. And then pull your belly in, lift your chest, look up. Nice. And then be humble. Bend that front knee, press in your feet, but pull your arms up and away. So pull those arms up and away. Nice. Inhale, come on up. Good. Hands to the mat, downward facing dog. If you know this feels better for you, I want you to do down dog plank, down dog. Kathy Cummings. If you know you need to flow, come forward to plank. Come to the floor. Roll your shoulders in, back and down and apart. Good. Come back to downward facing dog. We'll all be there. Good, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Good, and then Amanda, let your head be in line with your arms. So let your head drop towards the ground a little, relax. Yes, take that right leg up behind you. Bend your knee, open your hip. Take circles with that hip. Good, and then step your right foot to your right hand. Wide warrior one. Good, roll those shoulders in, back and down. And then if you want, grab that strap again. If your shoulders are tight, if you don't like using the strap and your name's Amanda Chin, I know, you do not have to. There is no rule. But roll those shoulders in, back, and down. Pull in your low belly. Pull in your middle belly. Lift your chest. Good. And then this time, lean forward. Step in your back foot. Engage those arms. Pull those arms apart. Lift your neck. Look forward, Deb Rusher. And then lift that back leg. See if you can do warrior three. Nice. And then exhale, come back down. Good job, you guys. Put the strap down for a second. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Stretch that right hamstring. Press near B. Even weight, big toe, pinky toe, heel. Nice. And then hands to the mat. Come back to downward facing dog. Good. Come partway to plank and then press the floor away. Come back to down dog. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, and then let your head relax in line with your arms. All right. And if you have bent knees, have bent knees. Good. Come partway to plank and press the floor away back to down dog. Take that left leg up behind you. So pressing, gripping the mat. Nice. And then take hip circles with that left hip, that left knee. So take it around. Nice. Really squeeze them out with your hands. Hug your elbows towards each other. Nice. And then bring that left foot forward. Come into a wide warrior one. Nice. And then grab the strap again. If you're using it, if you're not, that's fine too. Your knuckles are facing the front of the mat. So you're using a strap, you're using a resistance band or not. Go nice and wide, Allison, even wider. So wider than your hips. Yes, nice, Amanda. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your chest, and let's first do humble warrior. Good. 
So lift and then come forward, but pulling your arms back behind you. So let your arms pull towards the ceiling. Nice, bend your front knee a little bit more, um, Marianne. Yes, pulling your low belly, pulling your middle belly, lift your heart. Good, inhale, come on up. Nice. And then bring in your back foot. Roll those shoulders in, back and down. I'm gonna go into this plant, so I'm gonna to have to move. So you're allowed to move around on your mat. So shift your weight forward. Don't lift your back leg yet. Roll those shoulders in and back and squeeze. Pull at that band or pull your hands apart. And then lift that back leg. Nice, lift your head in line with your shoulders, pulling your low belly, pulling your middle belly, lift your heart. Nice, exhale, release. Good job, nice. Hands to the mat, come to downward facing dog. And then I'm gonna say you can flop onto the ground, you can do chaturanga, you can just take a child's pose, whatever you need. Let's make our way into child's pose. Yes, or puppy pose, right? So puppy pose, your butt is up. Child's pose, your butt is down. Play with both, see which one you like. Nice. All right, now we're gonna go to that space of going against the wall, your bed, or you don't have to do this part, but I think you'll love it, Allison. So I'm gonna show you and then you can, you can join me or not. So if you don't have a blanket, take your mat and fold it over so it can be the blanket, right? Maybe grab a blocks to help with your uh, balance and you're gonna kneel. Good. And then take your hands down and just take that right knee off the back wall. Take your left foot forward. So it's a little bit of maneuvering. My left foot's on the mat, a little bit funky. But what I'm focused on is opening this front of my quad. Now, some of you might not speak to me after this or you might be happy about it. Perfect, Allison. So maybe you keep your hands on the block and that's enough for you. Whatever you're doing, pulling your low belly, pulling your middle belly, lift your heart. Nice. And then bring that left arm, if you can, up and maybe to the back wall. And that sort of that extreme version of what we're doing. So really put more weight into that left foot, um, Marianne, pulling your low belly, pulling your middle belly, lift your heart. Nice. And then Amanda, you can take your hand to the back of your head because I think your shoulders are more open. That's really more intense. I'll come on down. Be like, look at your watch. When is this class over? When is this class over? Take that left leg up the wall. I think that this is hard, but it's also good for you. So Miriam, what do you say? Thumbs up, thumbs down on this. Good. All right. So really press in that right leg. Okay. Press, press, press. Right. Maybe keep your hand on the block for balance. Pull on your low belly, pull on your middle belly, lift your heart. Good. And then reach that right arm forward and back. Nice. And then if it's really good, watch that front knee. Um, and uh, it looks like it's tweaking out. I, I maybe it's me. Okay. And then maybe take your right hand to your head, lift your heart more. If you have back issues, ignore me, please. Nice. Nice, Deb Rauscher. And then exhale. Take a child's pose, unroll your mat, and be like, she has officially lost her mind. Okay. So we're going to do. Um, one more really nutty thing that builds on that. So I'm gonna say watch. And a minute, I would grab your block if you have it. Or you, if you don't have a block, grab a book or something. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. If you don't have anything, then you can just do it on the floor, but we're gonna do a back bend and add more support with a block. So I'm gonna take my block, I don't know, one third of the way down the mat and roll the mat over because otherwise the block's gonna stick into me. 
Then I'm going to lay on the block just uh, so that my navel is on the block. So we're working towards what's called bow pose. So you might have to play around with where you where you uh, are. The first time I did this, I like was too high in my stomach and almost threw up. So, be, so don't be hard on yourself. Nice. And then press into your hands, roll those shoulders back and down and let the, let the block support you, right? Let those shoulders come on back. Nice. And then take your left elbow on the ground leaning your belly on the block bend that right leg so come up a little bit higher deb rousher with your chest oh you don't have anything under you and then maybe reach that right shoulder back and down maybe grab your foot maybe not with this lock there kind of helps nice exhale release put your right elbow down Pull into your low belly, pull into your upper belly. You can lift your chest, bend your left leg, reach that left arm back. See if, if you can reach your foot, press your foot into your hand, your hand into your foot. See if you can get your big toe aside. Nice, Allison. This is your pose, right, lady? All right, and then exhale. Come on off of that for a minute. Take a child's pose or a puppy pose. We're going to do that one more time and we're either going to grab one foot at a time again or we're going to grab both feet. You won't have better uh, spirituality if you can grab both feet. It just means you're more open in your hips. Okay, so coming back onto the uh, block, kind of with your navel on the block. Nice. So let's start with our elbows down in Sphinx pose. And then bend both your legs, pulling your low belly, lift your chest. I can't really, I can't really pull in anything on my belly right now, but press into the block. And then send that right arm back. Maybe stay there or send that left arm back. And then roll those shoulders open, lift your chest. Nice. Exhale, release. Child's pose. Nice. And then we're either going to do that again for the left side or do a double again. Or if you want to try it without the block and just see the difference, you can do that too. So I'm going to come back onto the block. Navel is on the block so that it's pushing. I can push into the block. So lift my chest up, bend both your legs, right elbows on the mat, reach that left hand back. If you can reach your left leg, I want you to push your foot into your hand, your hand in your foot. I want you to be more worried about that, that opening of your quad. Good. Roll that left shoulder open. And then if you can easily grab both, grab both. Roll those shoulders back. Pull your feet into your hands, your hands into your feet. Nice. Oh my goodness. Exhale, release. Take another child's pose. Good job, you guys. That was Allison's pose. So if any of you liked it, you can thank her. <laughs> if you didn't like it, well, then you can blame me. All right, so let's do some nice, uh, let's do some twisting to uh, release some of that back bending. Um, I'm gonna say, let's just make our way onto our backs now. Bring your feet to the mat. And then take your hands out to the side, press in your feet. Take both of your hips to the left and then bring your knees to the right. So your knees are parallel and at a 90 degree angle. And then press in your hands, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your heart. Nice, exhale, come back to center. Press in your feet, scoot your hips over to the right. Take your knees over to the left. 
Good. And then pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your heart, press in your hands. Get that nice twist. Breathe. Nice. And then come back to center. And I'm going to call this Marianne's pose. Take your right knee on top of your left knee. So not ankle to knee, but knee on knee. Or Gomakasana legs. Good. Pull in your low belly. Pull in your upper belly. Lift your heart. And then just bring your knees towards your chest. Good. Now, maybe you can hug at your knees and then pull your shoulder blades down your spine. Maybe you need a, a band here. Maybe that pulls your shoulders out too much. Maybe you're super open here like Allison and you can grab your feet. And if you want, you can do this seated, but I feel like being on my back. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly. Lift your heart, shoulder blades go onto the mat. Nice. And then exhale, release, feet to the ground. Switch sides, left knee on top, right. Pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, pull your knees in. Maybe your arms are on the ground. Maybe you're using a strap on your legs. Maybe you're grabbing your knees, your shins, or your feet if you're more open and just pulling them open. Pull in your low belly, pull your shoulder blades onto your back. Nice. And then exhale, release. Good. Bring your feet to the mat. And then pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, lift your heart, shoulder blades on your back. Bring that right leg up, hamstring stretch. Now, again, if you have a band or a strap, you can grab it. Let this be nice and restful. You can use your hands on the low part of your leg because you don't want to pull your shoulders out after all that work. And then just on your inhale, press your heel away. On the exhale, pull your toes towards you. On the inhale, press your heels away. On the exhale, pull your toes towards you. Nice. And then inhale, right leg goes out to the side. Maybe if you're using your arms, make a shelf with your elbow. If you're using the strap, then press the strap into the ball of your foot. Keep your left hip on the ground. Good. And then press that right leg straight. Get a nice stretch on your inner thigh. Breathe. Nice. And then come back to center. Straighten that left leg. So focus on your left leg for a moment. Dig that left leg into the mat. Pull in your low belly, middle belly, shoulder blades on the back. And then bring that right leg across. And again, you can hold it. You can not hold it. You can use a strap. Then engage your core. Get your shoulder blades back onto the mat. Nice. And then exhale, come back to center. Hug your knees in your chest. Good. Bring your right foot to the mat. Take your left leg straight. Pull in your low belly. Pull in your middle belly. Expand your heart. Shoulder blades onto the mat. Point your toes towards your face. Inhale, heel away. Exhale, toes towards you. Try and have your legs straight. So wherever it is that it's straight. Nice, you guys. Good, take one more round of breath here. And then with your right hip staying on the ground, so I'm gonna take my right hand into my right hip. Take your left leg out to the side. Use a shelf with your arm, use a band with your left leg. Nice. Feel that nice stretch on your inner thigh as you press that heel away. Nice, and then straighten your left leg, straighten your right leg onto the mat, pull in your low belly, pull in your middle belly, dig that right heel in, shoulder blades on the mat, take that left leg across, and it can be straight, it can be bent, you can use a strap, you're focusing on that outer left thigh and that sciatica spot, nice. And then exhale, hug your knees into your chest. 
And then either take your feet wide, knees together, or soles of your feet together, knees out to the side. If it's too much for you, you can put your fists underneath your legs. Just take a moment in this neutral pose. Nice, and then make your way into your final resting pose. You just come into a space where you can totally relax. If you're by the wall, you can have your legs against the wall and do legs up the wall pose. Just take a moment to settle in. And then with all of this heart opening, start to think about some of the things that you're grateful for that are pretty obvious. Family, support, friends, love. And then bring your focus to some of the things that aren't as obvious. It's like having a body with all of its strong points and weak points is healthy enough to do yoga with having breath in your lungs, with having a roof over your head. See if you can think of some not obvious things, maybe even bad things that happen that taught you a positive lesson. Maybe things that you've tried and failed at, but came out stronger. Maybe having had an injury and now knowing how to take care of yourself to prevent that from happening again. And then just pick one of those things and really focus on it. Bring it to visual. See that place, that person, that thing. Feel that experience emotionally. Take in your thoughts about that experience. And then move towards what was your takeaway? What was the gift? And then as you're ready, gently roll to one side, hugging your knees to your chest. Taking in a moment to just be grateful for yourself for coming to the mat today, for practicing physically, emotionally, and mentally. And then gently pressing on up to a comfortable seated position. Lifting your heart, bringing your hands to your heart. 